Hi everybody, my name's Nick. I'm the Crooked Croupier. I'm based in London. I'm a professional performer. This is my full-time job. I perform scam games, hustles and uh, cons in front of corporate audiences, so corporate events mainly. Um, but I've also been a street performer for a, a huge part of my life, so I still perform outdoors an awful lot uh, in a festival setting and occasionally on stage as well. And as you can imagine, one of the main parts of my act uh, features the shell game. So I just wanted to drop in and give you a really quick uh, review of the new shells I've just taken delivery of a few weeks ago. Uh, it's the Black Sea Shells by Michel Stieler, and it's the silver plated set, which is absolutely stunning. I'll keep this really short for you uh, and just give you the bare bones of uh, why I think these are great. I'm often asked which shells I use and why, so I thought this might be a good video for you. Um, the first thing is, of course, the finish. They look incredible. Um, they look, feel and sound like real uh, solid silver shells. You can hear that they uh, have a really nice ring to them. Um, what's lovely is that they're not too mirrored. Uh, so that way, if you let them get a nice patina, they, uh, they sort of they shimmer, but they don't reflect. So they don't cause um, sort of confusion when doing fast moves. You can see these from uh, from further away. So I often perform for up to 100 people at a time, and um, that can cause problems if you're using small shells that are hard to see. Uh, for comparison, the old sort of uh, bronze shells um, or copper shells that uh, that, that um, I've, I've used in the past, they don't sort of show up quite as nicely. Um, it's the same shell. Uh, I've always used the Black Seas uh, ever since Michel brought them out. I think they're the, the most superior shells on the market. Um, the main reason is the handling. Uh, they're incredibly short. Um, but still look really nice. Um, so it allows you to play on small surfaces and on large surfaces. Um, the handling's uh, very fast, very <laughs> easily because of the short distance from tip to uh, edge. Uh, uh, it's not enough to be noticed by a lay person. Uh, it does help um, with the. Really simply. So, uh, you know, any direction you play these in, um, it really doesn't, um, it doesn't, doesn't matter. They just work beautifully. So um, I highly recommend them for that. The other thing that's important to note is the weight and the balance. They sit really nicely when they're turned over instead of like some of the shells that sit on their side. Uh, so they're really well balanced. As we know, they, uh, they sound great, they ring well, and the weight is great for outdoors and indoors. They're not too heavy to play, but they're heavy enough not to be affected by wind. Um, and uh, yeah, the grip is something as well that uh, I particularly like about these. You can very easily do any one-handed moves uh, or pick them up between your fingers, even if you have dry or sweaty hands. Uh, I often suffer from dry hands when I'm working outdoors and uh, these work fine, I, they never fail me. So um, I think that's a huge plus for these as well. Uh, and finally, you also get this lovely little pea holder in the shape of a pea pod, uh, which I think is uh, a lovely touch. It's a nice way to uh, have some spare peas on the side, uh, on the table without them sort of uh, feeling like they could be brought into play. So I think because they're clipped and you can clearly see there are three there, um, you know, the audience doesn't feel uh, too suspicious towards them. Um, unlike if you just have a pot of spare shells, uh, sorry, spare peas on the side. So um, yeah, I think that's a really nice touch. It just completes the set. Also means you can have those peas in your pocket. Um, I know, you know, some people don't like to put them in their pocket because they get sort of all kinds of fuzz on them. So, uh, you know, this is a nice way to keep them protected and together, even if you have other props in your pockets as well. So I think that's about it, really. That's all I've got to talk about. Um, I would also just let you know that uh, the Tells Bell sits on there really nicely. So it's a great fit for those uh, of you who like to use a bell. Um, I just think they're brilliant and um, they feel like actual walnut shells. They're about the right size as well. So um, as far as I'm concerned with uh, all those lovely little details in there, this is the best set on the market. So if it was me, I'd recommend to you uh, go and get a set of these. Um, if you want a cost effective way of uh, getting silver shells without paying the high ticket price of these solid silvers. So that's it. Thank you ever so much for watching. I uh, hope that was helpful. Uh, Michelle, thank you so much for making such great shells and of course, great peas. Um, the set all in all is um, second to none as far as I'm concerned. So uh, thank you for that.